Good. Okay, I'll have to walk, not walk around too much. Um, I'm a lecturer in computer science. I've been teaching for about 40 years now. Yes, 40 years in higher education. I'm that old, you can see, yeah. Anyway, in the next seven minutes, I want to talk to you about something that's really, really important for us from higher education and from the industry. We're going towards Industry 4.0 now. I'm a baby boomer. Anybody else a baby boomer here? Wow, great, we're a good club. Gen X, we have some Gen Xs here, a couple. Gen Y, the millennials, that's probably most of you. Is Gen Z here? No, not yet. But where are they? They're, they're starting to come now to our institutions, to the universities. They're now entering the, to the walls of our units. And we're preparing them for, to come into industry. You're the, they're the ones at Nimrod, where are you, wherever you are. You're going to be interviewing these new Gen Z guys. What do they look like? Hmm. I want to talk about one specific topic, because technical skills, the syllabi, and each institution teaches the C++, and the this, and the that, and calculus, and differential equations, which you never use, but all those stuff, yeah, okay. We'll assume that technically we teach correctly. But what are the soft skills that you want from a prospective employee? What are the, what are the soft skills? Think about it for a minute. No, not a minute, because I only have seven, so 20 seconds. Think, what, what do you want from them? I did an informal poll with all the vendors outside, or some of them, right, Phil, so I've talked to you. What are you looking for? What are the things? Hmm. Uh, what's a soft skill? Anyway, here, Oxford Dictionary. All right. Personal. Uh, what's that? That's not a fully what we're talking about when we're talking about soft skills. In America, and not only in America, I didn't even say, I come from computer science and computer science education, and I deal with um, science education a lot. And when we're talking about now uh, in education, in America, also here in Israel, and other countries, they talk about the four C's. Now, we all know about the four C's, right? Cut, color, Diamonds, cut, color, clarity, good, and carrots, right. Uh, but that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about the four C's of education. This is the buzzword in educational circles from kindergarten through 12th grade. What are the four C's of education? Communication. Now think about it for your workplace. Communication, collaboration, critical thinking, and creativity. Wow, I want a candidate that has all those attributes. Hmm. So what is com uh, communication? Okay, you all know how to read. I don't have to read this out to you, obviously. But the idea is that we want our graduate to come out being able to present writtenly, not only commenting on his code, but how to present a report with commas and periods, or full stops, sorry. Um, but also how to present. He's presenting in his team to management, to a client. He needs to know how to present. But not only that, he knows how to have to listen. He has to know how to listen to his team workers. Obviously, you have to know how to use the media. OK, that's communication. I don't have to uh, talk about it too much. But we want somebody who's coming out knows collaboration. He needs to know how to work in a team, teamwork. So obviously, now more and more, and if you'll see it, and you'll be hearing it more and more, I'm involved a lot with the uh, development of faculty. Uh, I give seminars in a lot of different universities and colleges about uh, improving the faculty, because they might be a good researcher, but they don't have to teach. And one of the things that we're seeing now in the universities, even a place like the Hebrew University, which is very 
going towards research, research oriented, the thing that we have to go from higher education to higher education. Higher, I G H E R, to higher education. That's what's happening now. The universities understand that we have to be more practical and get the people out to the workplace. So you're seeing more and more this type of idea where they're doing teamwork. And one of the important things that, uh, I don't remember with Phil or maybe uh, the guy from Spain, um, said the idea of assumed responsibility. Code review. Code review. Made a mistake. It's not good. Oh, no, that wasn't me. That was him. What a, he has to know how to assume responsibility for his things. OK, critical thinking, boom. Problem solving, critical thinking and problem solving. To be able to think out of the box, first you have to think inside the box. OK, good, you got it. OK, um, now differently we have to think about, we want a, to be, he has to be able to solve problems. He has to make judgments, decisions. OK. And the last thing, creativity. How do you teach creativity? I was at a conference in Bar Ilan on Monday, a brilliant conference about creativity. People from brain science, neurosciences were talking about what is creativity, how does it work? Wow. Uh, how do you teach it? Not so simple. OK. We all understood that. So I would also want to suggest a fifth C, which I think is very important, and that's char. Yeah, well, you know, we're C++ here. Char, no, 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 no. What's, what's char? Character. Character. That's the fifth C. In Hebrew or in Yiddish, I'd say a mensch. We want the work ethic. That's also important. That's something that we want to install into our students, that they come out with a work ethic. That is a very important part in our dealing with these students. You can come on Friday, if anybody's around, I'm giving in the, in the workshop there, in the teaching workshop, talking about the Gen Z students in relation to those type of things. How do we deal with them? Um, so let's just look. If you go onto any type of site where they say, where are the different, what are the different things that we're looking for in, um, graduates or people who are applying for jobs, written skills, empathy. And these are things I took across a uh, meta, I took a lot of different places and see what are the main keywords? Oral skills, hmm, teamwork, approachability, that the person is approachable by his teammates. They can talk to them. You can talk to the guy, wow. And everybody here is thinking, okay, Oh, I know that guy, he's not really, but, oh, but he's great, he's brilliant. I want a brilliant programmer, but uh, the brilliant programmer sometimes maybe is not the best thing for the cohesion of the group for the, to be able to make the deliverables on time. Accountability, motivation, that was a very key word that I heard from quite a few people. Show the motivation, what well, did Nimrod say beforehand? I want to see his enthusiasm. And of course, how can we not talk about time management? Thank you. <laughs>